Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Roads of Time. This was developed by Game On Production, published by 8th Floor and is usually available for a teensy tiny £4.19 slash $4.99. So if you've played games like Gnome Garden, Lost Artifact etc etc this will seem all too familiar to you. Yes it's another management type game but it's actually pretty fun and to make it even better if these are not your types of games, well then, good news! The devs very kindly put some cheats in to make this game go from around a 3 to 4 hour completion to a very nice 25 to 30 minutes. Booyah! Nobody says booyah anymore, I take that back. Uh, still very good. Now as for achievements, so, what we need to basically do, we are going to skip the majority of levels and uh, we'll only be playing 4 levels. Now the reason for that is basically some of these achievements, although very easy to obtain, we still need to actually play. Um, but don't worry, of course, I am on hand to guide you through the stickiness. Hmm, yeah, I might rephrase that one. Anyway, so again, all in all, you're looking at around a lovely 25 to 30 minutes to get this done. So, with that being said then, let's do it. And of course what we're going to do is, again, the, the guy looks awkward as hell if he's been stuck in ancient Egypt in the 20, year 21119, 21-190. Anyway, carry on, keep smashing the A button and then what we're going to see, we're going to come up to the sort of main level area. So what we'll do, we'll press the A button to play the first level and then what you need to do is just click in the left stick. So you can uh, press the A button here, it'll always tell you what goals you've got to do on a particular level, but of course we don't need to worry about that. We'll just click in the left stick, fireworks will go off, very very nice, very special. And we will get automatically three stars, which is always nice. So, again, what we're going to be doing then is we're going to just continue, keep continuing on this trend until we get to level 16. So obviously I will have edited the video down some because, uh, I mean, there's no point me there's no point in you watching me just get to level 16 through the level skip. But that's all we're going to do, like I said, until we get to level 16. Uh, just keep clicking in the left stick when you start up every level. Then when we get to level 16, there we are at the bottom. Hello! But once we start that, then we can just press the A button. Now, if you click in the right stick, when you start the level, click in the right stick and you will get an unlimited amount of resources to build. So click in the right stick and as you can see at the top, ah, oh, there we go, we got lots of lovely stuff to build with. So, what we're going to do first then, we're going to interact with the first rock pile on the right, again, just by pressing the A button, and then the rock pile on the left. Of course, what we need to do is basically clear paths and just escape some prisoners and stuff. Very easy. Interact with the sort of rock pile uh, at the very top of the screen again. We're going to get two achievements here called Workaholic and Architect for building buildings and clearing obstructions. Next, we are going to interact with the sort of log pile right in the middle of the screen. And that'll get rid of that. Next, we can go ahead and interact with the rock pile just here. Sort of the crystal mine right next to the guy where he's trapped. Oh no, we must have kidnapped the caged warrior, which we will do. Mr. Scientist Man will come and uh, get him. Interact with the next log pile there. Um, the caged warrior we will use in just a minute. So that's effectively what this is. You're literally just making paths for yourself. Now with the two bridges here, one at the bottom of the screen and one just where the caged warrior is, you're going to need to interact with these bridges uh, around three times each in order to fully, uh, fully reinstall them, fully fix them, fully whatever them. So let's do it, man. And eventually, obviously, when it is all fixed, we can just go ahead and uh, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and fill up some more traps. So underneath the bridge there is a pit that we are going to get rid of and then just on the next bridge at the top there we are going to get rid of the swamp. But we're going to cover up the swamp so we can get through. Interact with the fallen tree at the bottom of the screen as well. Also what you'll be able to see in the bottom right hand corner is like a little power up. Now that's going to go full like now so you can press the X button and that will get you the achievement called Turbo Engines. That's for using the walking speed boost. So every time it's full, if you want to go a little bit faster, you just press the X button there. So interact with the, with the rock pile there, the sort of left of the screen. That's another little building we have just built. And then what we can do is interact with the path there at the top of the screen, just where the enemy is standing. Then we can get rid of the stone pile level three. Uh, because we've freed the caged warrior as well. Eventually, three, two, one, let's go. 
So now we can interact with the enemy because we freed the caged warrior. We can now go ahead and click on him around three times to kick his ass, boy. Kick his slimy little ass, man. There we go. And with that one done and dusted, we're going to head all the way back down and interact with the sort of stone tablet. Right at the very top, you're going to need to interact with it twice. That will now finish the level. And uh, we get the time patrol achievement. Drop. Petroglyph. There we go. Level done. Happy days. Everyone's all good. So again, you should have got Workaholic, Architect, Turbo Engines, and Time Patrol. They're the first four that you should have got. So then what we're going to do is just carry on skipping levels. So keep going now, skipping levels until we get to level 21. And through the incredible magic of editing, ah, oh, here we are, level 21. Well, aren't I? Eh, well, yeah. Anyway, so level 21, this is another level that we have to play completely. Uh, two achievements we're going to get in this one then. So first of all then, when we begin, remember to click in the right stick to get yourself a whole bunch of resources. Go to the right and we're going to press A on the car right here, or the time machine, in order to upgrade it. Uh, get some colourful stuffs going, look like colourful turd emojis in all fairness. Um, interact with the rock pile there, and then to the left, interact with the warrior hut. Now don't worry about these enemies popping down, they're not going to try and do anything. Interact with this crystal as well. Again, which is on the path to the warrior cage. And then when that's done, interact with the pit as well. Bomb left hand corner, interact with said pit. Robots will be all like, hey! Now we can interact with the caged warrior, and as you can see as well, on the bottom right hand corner, we can now press the Y button in order to use a pickaxe. So you can just go ahead and uh, press that at any point in order to get the activation module achievement. We'll do it now so that it's just out of the way. So that's how you do that, press the Y button. Uh, with that one done, what we can do now, you can actually just press the A button on any one of these enemies right here. They keep popping in and out, so <laughs> in and out, shake it all about. So once you've done that, you will also get the Dark God Servant achievement. It may take a little bit of time here to unlock. Uh, it definitely took a little bit of time to unlock for me. There it is. <laughs> I got panky right there. So the colorful turd emoji apparently is food. Um, but anyway, with that one done, you can just go ahead and skip the level. Because as I said, you should now have the activation module achievement of the Dark God Servant. And then we're just going to be doing a little cheeky cheeky bit of skippy skip. Uh, again, I've already magically edited it down until we get to level 34. So, right, now we're on level 34. We're going to be going ahead and uh, we are going to be completing this level, actually. Plus using the time stop, which is basically the third power up in the bottom right hand corner there. So, first of all then, again, give yourself some resources, interact with the time machine and then interact with the pit. Uh, the time machine can then interact with the pit on the left, then interact with the fallen tree in the same area. There we go, lovely, and then we can interact with the locals hut. So we'll just pop that one in, and then what we're going to do is interact with the ancient rock pile or whatever that is on the right. And then you can just go ahead and interact with the time machine as well, again, just to get a third robot going. Then we can interact with the Ra altar. Because uh, that's how we need to complete the level, by uh, sorting out all the three of it. Ra Ra's altar. Ra Ra the crappy lion. Sorry. Right, so uh, that'll be the first altar that we've done then. So what we need to do now, again, as you can see there's no path. So I uh, will uh, nip through the teleporter, grab or sort out the little swamp. And then we can interact there with the pit at the top. Um, we can't actually get past the golden beetles garagabagabagabagus thing first yet, so don't worry about that, we'll be doing that at the bottom. So, uh, what we're going to do then, from here again, we can't interact with that, so don't worry about that. Uh, we're just going to head to the sort of left-hand side there, through the teleporter, straight through the top left-hand corner, we're going to fill in the pit. And then we're going to interact with the ancient sort of rock pile again, right next to it, the ancient portal. So now we'll have three portals go in. Whoa! Right, so now we can start at the bottom. So we're going to interact with the pit right at the very bottom of the screen. And uh, we will also interact with the fallen tree. Uh, just to the left of it. And we're going to interact with the pit as well. Just to the right of the golden sarcophagus. That's what it's called. We'll interact with the pit again. 
And then once all this bit is done, we can then go ahead and interact with this golden piece right in the middle. Right in the middle. Mate, where are you off? Come back and build my thing. That'll anyway get rid of the golden beetle at the top there, all mummy style. Then we can go and interact with the next portal, which will give us another portal. Hooray! Right, oh, by the way, yeah, what you can do is press the B button as well. So if you press the B button, that'll use the time stop. Um, it, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. I, I paused it because it was taking a while to unlock this or thought uh, something had gone wrong, but no. So if you press the B button, that is how you will interact the time stop achievement. Now, all you got to do then, as you can see, the two sort of raw altars, uh, if they've got little bits of grass on them, uh, that means they just need to be cleaned up, that's all. So that's why I'm taking my time, because I thought I'd done it, when we've actually got two left to do. Uh, but yeah, so again, if you haven't got the time st time not achievement, press the B button to, to use the time stop. Uh, otherwise, what we're going to do, you can see the one on the right-hand side. Uh, for some reason, I'm using... There we go. So there are, <laughs> so there are altars. So we need to fill in the pit just above this Ra altar on the right-hand side, first of all. Now again, hopefully I've done this guide so that it is nice and um, uh, so that it's fast enough, but again, it's paced well enough so you can sort of keep up. Because uh, there's nothing worse than having to pause every two seconds, you know, somebody going quick as hell. Anyway, you interact with this last raw altar, sort of in the middle of the screen right there, and that'll be the level 34 achievement done. Um, and then we've just got one more to do. So we'll get the Cornucopia. And then we've got three achievements left. Big Boss, Deadly Enemy, and Antique Aficionado, which to you makes no sense right now. So what we're going to do, we're going to skip all the way to level 40. So again, just keep on skipping the levels until we hit level 40. Now, the only thing we have to do in this area is actually we're going to get one achievement for defeating the Lion Guard. You know, the Lion Guard, he, he used to be on the Lion Bar, but uh, not anymore. They got rid of him for a uh, younger model. So he became a Lion Guard. He's all pissed off now. Right, so, interact with the time machine. I'm just going to interact with it three times to get the robots up and going. You can see the lion guard there, the lion bar guard in the left-hand corner. And to be honest, this is literally just a case of uh, filling in the pits and just getting rid of the fallen trees, which we've done so far. Uh, so again, interact with the pit there in the middle of the screen. Two, one, blessed off. Then interact with the big rock pile straight in front of it. So what we're doing is literally just getting rid of everything in order to get up to the top smash the uh, lion guard and then effectively all we got to do is skip levels to complete the completion fit me fit there we go get rid of the fallen tree at the top the thing on the left and on the right just next the fallen tree just next to the warrior cage then we can interact with the warrior cage and the side desk is going to be like yeah, i'll do something now then you can just interact with these two now there is another warrior cage on the right um, but he's not really needed so you don't actually have to bother with doing these you can build a warrior hut there so we can just continue on to the path. So on the path upwards to the lion. So again, you don't need to worry about finishing off these bridges. Uh, the, the warrior guy on the right, we don't need to worry about. So once we have cleared the path of the debris, all debris man, come in. There we go, and we'll do it one more time apparently. Ugh, oh, man. C come on, we, we got stuff to do, man. We're only a couple of minutes in, but come on. Right, so once this is done, we can now just click on Big Broski right here. Um, and obviously, Warrior's gonna... We're gonna click on him three times to smash him down. And then we're gonna click on Big Boss Angry Lion Bar Guard. Again, got traded in for another model. Click on him four times. He's still fuming. Now he's going to be deader than a dead thing in Deadland. And then we can just go ahead, once the achievement unlocks, we can just go ahead and skip the level. So click in the left stick and it'll go... There you go. That's that's the noise fireworks makes. British fireworks, anyway. American, G Americans, Jesus Christ, especially on 4th of July, is just... Well, that wasn't a machine gun, that was fireworks, supposedly. Eek, let's not go there. <laughs> I'm just joking, America, I love you. Right, so head all the way to level 50. Um, again, just keep skipping now until we get to level 50. And luckily for us, the only thing we have to do is skip this level. And we will get the Deadly Enemy achievement for beating Dr. Terrible. Uh, that's also as terrible as his name. Uh, but I'm just joking. Still, uh, we will get that one. Uh, we don't... We haven't finished the game just yet. Uh, so what we'll do, when we get back to the main menu here, if you press the right bumper and then the 
top right corner, you can see the little swirly icon. Once it is highlighted, the swirly icon, we'll press the A button on it to go through to another secret 10 levels. And then all we've got to do then is literally just skip every level until we get to level 58. Once we have skipped level 58, that is where the final achievement will unlock. And then we are golden bananas, boys. So, uh, yeah, just keep on skipping. Yeah. We'll skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip to my loo because I need to take a poo. No, I don't really. But anyway, once we get, like I said, to level 58, we will skip it. That will get us the antique aficionado achievement for returning all the papyrus to the pharaoh. Not the Bender Pharaoh from Futurama either. But there we go then, guys and gals. So, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope that the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members as well. Absolute legends, past, present, and future. And thank you again. I shall see you in the next one. Big love!